Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at how we will be mounting the moat to the checkerboard and uh, we will be synchronizing the two together. So here's our moat. Just to go over the axes that the moat has, this up is the y-axis, in is z, and x is like this. So the first part of this, we will be mounting the moat to the checkerboard. So here's my moat. Here's the checkerboard. We are mounting the moat to the back of the checkerboard so we can essentially take the picture of the checkerboard and record data of the moat while it's on the back here. Okay, so next we will run the moat code. It's located in Qt, so we want to bring up Qt, click on Kino Host Branch. One thing you want to always make sure you do is click on Tools, Subversion, and you want to update the project. Now, we will skip that for now, and we will just run the code. So here's a picture of our uh, moat, and we want to make sure we connect to the right moat. And the moat that I have right now is RN4209A5. And we will click Connect, and we are connected. So if I was to bring this up, no matter how you move, the checkerboard, the moat will also show. So let me bring up a side-by-side -side sort of representation here. Okay, and now we will begin. You want to take a picture of the checkerboard and record your data. So let's move it over here to a much better location. You want to make sure you keep the y-axis pointing upwards. So this right here is wrong. You want to make sure it looks like this. Okay? And let's turn this around. Our first image will be a standard baseline, just like last time. All right. Make this upright. And first, we will take our image. Take snapshot. So that's our first image. And we want to make sure we record from the moat. And that should suffice. Stop the recording and take another image. So our another image will be like this. And video, take snapshot. And we also want to record. Okay, so that's our second image. And our last and final. Okay, now for this also, you want to make sure you do not move your camera at any point in time as it will skew the data. And we also want to make sure we record for this orientation as well. Okay, we are done. In order to get your quaternions for the moat, you want to go to File Manager. You want to go to Kino, Host, Branch, Data, Recorder. This is the date, 8-6. And we have th our three images, our baseline, our rotated left, and our rotated right. And these three files will include the quaternions for that orientation. Okay, you want to make sure semicolon is checked. We want to uncheck space. Click OK. All right. And since our moat collects data for both the accelerometer, magnetometer, and gyroscope, all of that is automatically put into this file. Now, what we really need is the static quaternion, our W, X, Y, and Z. Now, since the moat is stationary for this whole time, it doesn't matter which one we choose. I like going to the middle of the, of the file and just getting one. So let's go over here and bring up Kate and baseline. This will be a good way to keep track of our data. And this one will be moat and our quaternion. And our quaternion for our first image, which is the baseline, is that angle axis. We will be finding this a little bit later. And finally, delta. We want to make sure we gather the same thing for our checkerboard. So quaternion, angle axis, and delta. OK, now we'll move on to get our next image. So rotate left. Quaternion. Okay, and let's save this. 
Uh, this should suffice. Data. Call this data one. Let's save this. Okay, so that is how you get the quaternion for the first image. Now we'll move on and gather it for the rest. Now, it's always good to keep track of your data. This is why I like to bring up Kate and sort of uh, get things a little organized. So let's save this and show you how to go through the next step. So we're going to bring up GIMP again to convert our images. <laughs> All right. So our very first image was this one, and we are going to convert this now. Okay, file, save as. What we're going to do, we're going to put it in the MATLAB directory so we can use it to find our rotation matrix. So we can call this baseline dot tif, save. Place. File open. Here's our next one. Okay. Okay, let's close this. Close and close. And close down GIMP. All right, so now what we can go ahead and do is open up MATLAB. And go to our webcam orientation. Let's make sure we add it to the path. Oops. Let's move that back over here. Okay. Run Calib GUI. You want to select standard? As you can see here, our three images, baseline, rotate left, and rotate right, are all here, which is good. Click on image names, image, TIF. So basically the same, the same uh, steps that we took earlier. We want to make sure we click on load to load the old parameters that we did by, uh, that we set by doing the old uh, calibration on the last four images. And now we want to click on comp extrinsic. And we want to uh, extract corners for our first baseline image and TIF. And let's extract the corners. Again, try to extract the corners to within five megapixels. All right, and let's put in a DX of 30 millimeters. This should be an approximation. You should uh, measure the size in, of each checker and put in an approximation in millimeters of the checker. And as you can see here, it spits out a rotation matrix. Now this rotation matrix we will use, uh, we will use this to find our angle axis and our quaternions for the checkerboard. So let's put this into Kate. All right. And we're going to repeat this step for the last two images. Again, start at the top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. Now you want to remember that this will not work if you do it in any different order. So make sure you do it in that particular step. Okay. And that's our rotation matrix. Now, stay tuned for how to convert our rotation matrix and our quaternion from the moat to something we can actually look at. Thank you again for watching and have a good one.